against Higa Sits 47 but 67 of the series. After the savage onset of this rotten, poisonous teaching of money, the worst of all heresies, and like that of a snake, then I was a man named Hiraras, the founder of the Hirachids. He lived at Leontus in Egypt and had quite a bit of education, for he was proficient in the, in the Greek and other literary studi studies and well acquainted with medicine and the other subject of Greek, subjects of Greek and Egyptian learning and perhaps he had dabbled in astrology and magic. For he was very well versed in many subjects and as his works show an extremely scholarly expositor of scripture, he knew Coptic very well, the man was Egyptian and was also quite clear in Greek for he was Greek in every way. He was supposedly Christian, but did not perceive in Christ's regime. For he strayed from it, slipped, and came to give. He could recite the Old and New Testaments accurately for memory, and gave expositions of them. But because of his foolishness, he privately held whatever doctrine suited his fancy, and came into his head. Hierarchus II Hierarchus II holds that the flesh never rises, never rises, only the soul. He claims, however, that there is a spiritual resurrection, and he collected whatever text he could find in the sacred scripture to support his, his position, and thus he heaped them up and weakly concoct, concocted any old cheap fixtures from proof of his heresy. But he was a song in his asceticism and able to win souls to have to himself. For example, many Egyptian ascetics were convinced to him. I suppose it was because he took the cue for it from origin that he denied that the resurrection of the dead is a resurrection of flesh, or sped this up out of his own head. He does not contain his matrimony and claims that this is an ordinance of the Old Testament, for he recognizes Adam, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Aaron, and all the saints alike, Isaiah and Jeremiah too, and regards them as, a, as prophets, he says that the contradicting of matrimony is permitted in the Old Testament, but since Christ's coming marriage is no longer acceptable and cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. For he asks, what new thing did the world come to do? What new message did the, old, the only begotten come to give and said right, if, if it was about the fear of God, the law had this. If it was about marriage, the scriptures had proclaimed it. If it was about envy, covetousness, and iniquity, all this is in the Old Testament. But Christ came to make only this correction to praise continents in the world and choose the pure and continent for his one and with a continence no one can be saved. Hirakas collects the waras for this for, from all sorts of places. For example, what the scripture scripture says, say, and your consecration without which no man shall see God. And if they ask him, why did the apostle see Marius is honorable and the bed and the field, but who hormongers and adulterers God will judge? He replies, but on the other hand, the apostle says, It is good for a man not to touch the woman, and as and as immediately uh, and as immediately it is it is good for a man so be and skipping a little a little he says, then married woman care for the things of the Lord, for how she may please the Lord. Like was the virgin, but she was. But see that is married, carried, carried the how the how she may please her husband, and is divided. Now there is if there is division, where is the where is the where there is division? How can there be union? And if the married woman does not please God but her husband, how can she have in how can she have her inheritance with God? The apostle does not, doesn't say to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, 
in order to command matrimony after the incarnation, but in order to bear with it, to prevent false with into further gain. For there we enox which have made themselves enox for the kingdom of heaven's sake. And Paul says, I will that men, I will that all men be even as I myself. And the kingdom of heaven is likened unto ten virgins, five foolish and five wise. Wise virgins, foolish virgins, I liken to the kingdom of heaven, but virgins, he didn't say, married person, married persons, and he heaps up a great deal of material of this kind of of this what is supposed as a position of matrimony, if you please. Hirakas does not accept children who die before the age of reason, but excludes them for the hope in which we believe. They cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven, he says, because they have not taken part in the contest. For if a man strive, yet he is not crowned except he strive lovely. If even someone who strives is not crowned unless he strive lovely, but how much more those who have not be yet been someone to the arena? Again, of course, like origin, as I said, he does not believe that Paradise is an actual place, or that the resurrection of the dead is a resurrection of the flesh. He says that there is a resurrection of the dead, but that it is a resurrection of souls, and makes up some spiritual mythology. And no one can worship with them without, a, without being a virgin, a monk, continent, or a widow. But here, does does agree with origin about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He believes that the Son is really begotten of the Father, and as to the Holy Spirit, he asserts that he is the Spirit of the Father. He, however, as I remarked above in the sect of the Melchizedekians, claims that the Holy Spirit is Melchizedek himself, because the Apostle has said he made, the, he made intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And who is this? But what? Who? But he that was made like unto the Son of God, who remained a priest forever, but it says a priest forever because of intercession. The Spirit made Abraham then, since he is like the Son, and this says Hirakas, is why the Apostle says, with a father, with a mother, with a descent, with a mother, he says, he has no mother, with a father, because he had no father on earth, but is made like unto the Son of God and he made a priest forever. And he talked lots of nonsense about the Holy Spirit and went to a great deal of trouble over, over him. He believes the, he believes he can draw his cleansing proof from the ascension of Isaiah, supposedly because the so-called ascension tells us that Isaiah said, The angel that walked before me sought me, and he sought me and said, Who is that on the right hand of God? And I said, Sir, Thou knowest, he said, This they beloved. And who is the other? Who is like him? The third one from the left. And I said, The knows. He said, This the Holy Spirit that speak in thee in the, and the prophets. And Isaiah says, He was like unto beloved. He rakas utilizes this as, a, as, a, as proof of the scriptural sayings. Saying, My like, made like unto the Son of God, he remained a priest forever. And how many things, even about this, can mind think of in opposition to, the, to this poly teaching of this of his? He died in old age. He got work in. He brought both in Greek and in Coptic expositions. He has composed of the six days of creation, fabricating some legends and pompous allegories. But he got on any number of other scriptural say, subjects and composed many later day, later day psalms. And many of those who believe in his doctrine abstain from myth. Hirakas himself really practiced a great deal of asceticism, but his disciples after him do it hypocritically. He himself abstained from all sorts of foods and denied himself wine as well. And some say that, and some say of him that, Although he lived past 90, he practiced calligraphy till the day of his death. He was the calligrapher, for his vision remained unimpaired. Alright, let's in investigate this man's text too. 
with, with which of the scriptures ideas. So we join ourselves to scot this poisonous snake that strike one and back like, like a scorpion. For it, for it heap up material for two testaments to do harm. Not as the second words are, but not as the second words are, but as his smallest form of skewed notions of things that are clear. Honey is honesty or bitter, and neither are the nicer words God had created. But if they are given to a fever patient, they seem bitter in his mouth, not because the sweet things have turned bitter, but because the patient's taste has imparted bitterness to the things he is given. In the same way, no one who has fallen away who has fallen away from the truth has been deceived by the truth, he tests the truth with the bitter thoughts and hate had been and it has been made bitter for, for him. But let's see what shall we say about the children, the ones who were killed for Christ at once in Bethlehem of Judea, as such as they without a without part in the kingdom of heaven, or do they have a part? They do, since they are innocent. For if they have no part in it, then the Lord has become an accessory to the murder, for they work it for, to, for they work it for him. But if they work it for him and thus, no, a noble to need to enter the contest of gain the, or gain the prize, then the Lord at fed, which was intended for salvation, has become harmful to the world instead. For he, for it is, for it has become the cause of the untimely depart of the babes, since they were punished and fell victim to the kingdom's menace, so that they could not they could not enter the contest to gain its rewards. But let's look at some other considerations. Call Solomon, the blessed and the wise man of all, to confront this Hirakas. Come here. You must bless and pour prophets who receive the Lord, who receive the Lord of prof a profession of heart and wisdom, and a descent of Caesar. What will you think of the children? And Solomon replies, "All age is no honorable, no length of no length of life, no reckoning but by number of years. Wisdom is a is holy head for men, and a spotless life the all age." For is for in his innocence he was loved by God, and from living among sinners he was translated. He was wrapped away, lest weakness alter his understanding, and guile deceive his soul. For the influence of evil doth weaken things that are good, and the one thing of desire doth undermine and harmless one. Because he is speaking of children, he adds at once, being perfect in a short time, he fulfilled long years. That is to say, he lived for many years even though he died young. For his soul was pleasing unto the Lord, therefore he has did to remove him from the midst of weakness. And to Jeremiah the Lord says, People to comes, people to comes word for the love for the one, I sanctify thee. But let's look at the Savior of himself, the mother that cannot lie, the one that knows all things. Come here, Lord, and lend your aid to our minds, but confront Hirakas and his rashness. Scripture says, There came unto him his little children, that he might put his hands on them and bless them. But the disciples trust them, trust them away, and forbade them. But he said unto them, Suffer the children, suffer the little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of God. And lest it be, though that the kingdom of heaven is composed solely of children and seems not to extend to ages, he begins the children, but has granted, but has granted those who are like them to possess the inheritance with them. For if those, for for if those who are like them can reign, how can? But how how much more the modest of those who are like them? And Hirakas' very, very story has fallen flat. For the Lord is merciful to all. The Lord keep God over the little ones, and bless the Lord the other children, and the children cried out, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. And out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has the perfected, the perfected grace. 
there are, and there are any number of other texts like them. But as to guess, but as to the resurrection of the flesh, here you, you would be said, how can there not be a resurrection of flesh? The term itself shows that shows the meaning of the expression. We cannot speak of the rising of something that has not fallen. What is it that fell? Was what was buried? What was destroyed by the body, and not the soul? A soul neither falls nor is buried. Now, how much is there to be said about this? We cannot speak of the resurrection of a soul. Is the body that is raised? And as to the selection, the Savior came to make of virgins, the continent, and the pure. To whom is it? To whom is it? No plan that there is, there is an election, and that virginity is the part of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. But the Savior accepts persons who are in lawful wedlock as well, for He is out to save every man in His own order. How can? Marriage not in honor and possess the kingdom of heaven and God, where the Savior was invited to a wedding for the purpose of blessing marriage. If he had refused to go to a wedding, he would have been a destroyer of matrimony and not the one who accepts each one from pity for his weakness. Marriage is honorable, then, for he himself has so designed it. If this is why he went to, the, to a wedding to stop the mass of those who speak against the truth. For Jesus performed a first miracle there in Cana of Galilee by turning the water into wine. And as he had done from a virgin to sow the light that done from the virgin to the world, so he performed his first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee to honor virginity by his conception and the ray of light that done to it but to other lawful wedlock by his miracles, for he performed his first at the wedding, changing the water to unmixed wine. Similarly, if marriage was, was wrong, why does the teacher of the Gentiles comment it? As he says, younger widow refuse, for after they wax one turn against Christ, they will marry, having damnation, because they have cast out, they, they have cast off their first faith. Why does he sustain? But let them marry, bear children, guide the house. If Paul allows these things, how can you hear a cast teach that Mary has to be rejected of the Christ incarnation? And as you and as to your assertion that Melchizedek himself is the spirit, in that case the spirit came and took flesh, it cannot then be just the only begotten who has been born in the flesh. The spirit must have been too. But if the spirit was born in the flesh, well, it was Mary who bore the Savior. Here I consult, say, where the mother is who bore the spirit. And he saying, made like unto the Son of God, he remained a, a priest forever. The scripture cannot be referring to the Holy Spirit. It didn't say, like the Son of God, but made like. Now, made like refers to something that come to be at, at a later date. If the spirit is made like Christ after the time of Abraham, there was a time where, when there was no spirit, and it then it is why he was made like the Son of God. And how, and how can he be without father? And if the and if the spirit is self-existent and not of the Godhead's own essence, it can fairly, it can fairly be shown that he is that he is without father, and indeed. The son is only begotten and has no and has no brother and but is the son of God. But even if we say that the spirit is not begotten, since the son is only begotten, Christ still says that the fig the spirit proceeded from the father and received the son the son then received of the son has the spirit who proceeded from the father and received of me cannot be without father. Even if he meets without mother in heaven and without mother and without father and earth on earth, for this can also be said of the Savior. Why does the apostle explains explains explain this at the end of the saying? He whose descent is not counted from them received the received it of, of the patriarch Abraham. The phrase from them is indicative of precise, precise expression 
for since his descent was not counted for the children of Israel, he must surely have been descended from other nations. But because, but because his father and mother are not recorded in the scriptures, those who misrepent the truth imagine one thing in place of another. I do have found it, have found but is more than his father in traditions. He was descended from the Sidonians and Canaanites. Thus his very story has come back. And his ascetic practice is no and his ascetic praise practice is of no avail to settle for lifeless things coupled with wrong belief is no school of life and hope the hope of salvation. Scripture says Let all let all things be done to the glory of God. But here too I believe enough has been said about them. We have we have broken the scorpion's wings and pulled its power down. For Hirakas is a winged snake, a scorpion which has wings of many kinds and flies and mimics the and mimics the church virginity with, but without a clear conscience. For he and people like him are instances of having the conscience held with an or high or iron and forbidding to marry and to abstain from meats which God has made to be received. For they are sanctified by the word of the living God and prayer, since all things are good and wholesome, and nothing is abominable with God. However, they are a complete lodging stock because of the adopt adoptive wives each of them has acquired, whom they are at pains to have work domestic service. But if I said, we have pulled this, he he. We have pulled his wings off too, and broken his head with the wood of life, the cause of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go on to the rest, calling on God himself to aid us, so that we may reply to the remaining sex, to, re to the remaining sex, and refute the heresies they palm friendly off of the world.